Greeting of the day, my dear students. I'm Naveen. Hope you are doing good. And um, today we are going to discuss about pronouns. As we have uh, already discussed pronouns in our previous classes, so uh, let's discuss few more steps or few more things. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there is an interesting picture given here. And what you need to do with the picture, you have to make a story. And these are the points that you need to remember. Give names to to the children. Two children. One person begins with the first sentence of the story. The next person adds to it. It means you have to start a story, and then the other one who's among with you, um, the the person has to start the story exactly from where you left. Okay. And the next point, each person adds a sentence without using he, she. they them or it it means these are the pronouns and you can't use them so think about can you do that no see how far you can go so try this once and then you will see the importance of pronouns okay so um it's been speaking it's been um it's been mentioned here that it is it's not it, it is not possible to make a sentence without using pronouns right So now let's move forward. Uh, let's revise the types of pronouns. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are pronouns that we use in place of names of people, place, and things. The pronoun I, me, we, you, us, you, uh, you, us, um, he, she, it, him, her, they, and them are personal pronouns. Personal pronouns can act as subject. Remember this point. all object in sentence it means personal pronoun uh, either subject ke taur pe use ho sakte hain or either object ke taur pe it depends okay so let's move forward uh, sometime personal pronouns are used as subject in sentence for example you can see here i he she they are used they are all are personal pronouns and they are used as subject right as you can as you move forward and see here the personal pronouns are also used as object of verbs or preposition look at these examples like personal pronouns are also use objects as an object bhi aap inko use kar sakte hain ya to subject ka object ya preposition ka like uh, my my mother tickled me me is used an object it means me you can see here this is used an object okay the verb one verb object my mother gave some biscuits to me now to me to is underline and that is pro, uh, preposition so uh, me is uh, the pronoun there and uh, me is the object of the pro preposition okay to so now you can see uh, subject and object there are two columns and a table given here you need to remember all this okay what you need to do um you need to do like um, um i mean uh, you have to remember um, if you are using i subject then the object should be me and the subject you you he she it him her or it it means he ka him or she ka her and it would be same we us they them who whom okay now the next type of pronouns uh, pronoun is a uh, possessive pronoun so let's understand possessive pronouns um, the two words you can see when when pronouns express belonging or ownership it means uh, ya to belonging show ho rahi hogi ya ownership so you can understand they are possessive pronouns right for an example the pens are mine pens we are talking about pens and the ownership of mine it means ye jo pronoun yahan pe use ho rahi hai ye ownership शो करिए कि किसके पेन से माइंड राइट उसी तरह से दिस बुक इज योर्स योर्स इज द पोजेसिव प्रोनाउन राइट द वर्ड्स माइंड एंड योर्स आर पोजेसिव प्रोनाउंस दे आर यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ नाउंस इन टेल एस टू होम समथिंग बिलोंग्स इट मीन्स बिलोंगिंग शो हो रही है यहाँ पे ओनरशिप शो हो रही है राइट नाउ देर इज एन एक्सरसाइज बी एक्सरसाइज एंड वट यू नीड टू डू आई हैव ऑलरेडी फिगर दिस आउट and i want to you to take a close look and complete this one okay so um, look at the underlined pronouns and write s for subject pronoun o for object pronoun and p for possessive pronoun so i have done already i've already done this uh, he gave my bag to rovan 
So this is subject pronoun. So I have written S. Okay. The last slice of pizza is mine. It means this word is showing belongings or ownership. About what? Sl the last slice of pizza. Okay. So that's why I've mentioned P for possessive pronoun. You can take a close look and complete this one. Okay. I'm going to move forward and turn the page. As you can see here, now we are on the next type of pronoun and that is demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative pronouns point out the nouns to which they refer. It means hum jo refer kar rahe sentence mein kisi, kisi cheez ko point out kar rahe, okay? This, that, these and those are demonstrative pronouns. Remember this, that, these and those are demonstrative pronouns. You can see here a table given here and uh, the first point is demonstrative. The second column is distance of object, number of the object and example. So what do you mean by distance? It means if you are using this, ye distance ka aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki this ka use hum jo humari close jin jo humari nazdik ki cheeze unke liye use karte hai, right? And always ye aapka singular ke liye use hoga. As you can see the example, this is your room for tonight. Usi tarah se these for plural, but jo nazdik hai aapke, right? Number pl um, plural, okay. And uh, example, you can see these are some fruit you can eat. So you can make many more examples, okay. Now the next one is that that far from speaker or writer. It means the uh, person who is speaking at the moment. Usse kitna nazdik hai, kitna dur hai depend karta hai. So that hamesha dur ki cheezon ke liye use hota hai, singular cheezon ke liye, right? Dosh. Those uh, ka use up uh, door ki cheezon ke liye karte hain aur plural ki uh, plural cheezon ke liye karte hain right you can see it's been dis um, the description is given here okay so what is the point here remember a demonstrative pronoun takes the place of a noun phrase jo demonstrative pronoun hai wo kis ki jagah pe use hoti hai noun phrase ki jagah pe whereas a demonstrative adjectives comes before a noun phrase aur jo demonstrative adjective hai wo noun phrase ke baad use hota hai okay don't get confused so you can take a look here and understand by the example this is our neighbor's dog it means demonstrative pronoun so neighbor's dog this is our neighbor's dog it means this this is the pronoun which is uh, point out which is pointing out something I mean about the name neighbor's dog right and the second one is this bag yours or mine it means it's a question but uh, it's mm, a demonstrative adjective and this bag it means this bag is demonstrative adjective because the demonstrative pronoun is given here and it's used um, before that okay so now we are on the C exercise, fill in the blanks using demonstrative pronouns. I have done already this and what you need to do, just take a close look and try to complete and fill your books, okay? So you can see, uh, see these are very simple one. I have already done this. Uh, now the first one, these are the names of the students chosen for the drama. Uh, Sylvia, Partha, Zizu and Asif. So these, why I have used these? Because plural we are referring plural things or plural people you can say um, and that's why abuse this okay the next one do you see the books over there those are my father's here this is the white shirt you wanted me to bring for you do you see the house over there that is mine okay so the next type of pronoun is relative pronoun relative pronoun refers uh, back um, refer back or relates to the noun mentioned it read this sentence it means a um, relation show hota hai through relative pronouns as you can see here the woman who gave me this letter was wearing a yellow salwar kameez it means the woman who gave me okay konsi woman jis, jis ne mujhe kya diya Letter diya, wo kaisi saadi, kaisa dress pehani bhi thi, salwar kameez pehani bhi thi. It means we are referring someone, okay? The next one, I like listening to songs that have good lyrics. It means I like listening to songs. What kind of songs that have good lyrics? So, yaan pe that is referring 
हैव गुड लिरिक्स इट मीन्स जिनके अच्छे लिरिक्स होते हैं द मैन हुज टैक्सी नाउ हुज टैक्सी हुज इज द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन और ये किससे रिलेशन शो कर रहा है किसकी टैक्सी यू केम बाय इज वेटिंग आउटसाइड फॉर हिज फेयर ठीक है ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड हु दैट एंड हुज आर रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस दैट रिलेट टू अनाउंस वुमेन सॉन्ग्स एंड मैन जो यहाँ पे वुमेन को रिलेट कर रहा है सॉन्ग्स को रिलेट कर रहा है और मैन को रिलेट कर रहा है इज दैट क्लियर ओके लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अ बिट मोर रीड द टेबल दैट शोज द यूज ऑफ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन विथ सर्टन नाउन्स प्रोनाउन पीपल अदर लिविंग थिंग्स नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स रिमेंबर दीज पॉइंट्स ओके वेन वी आर यूजिंग रिलेटिव प्रोनाउंस हु यू कैन यूज हु रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन फॉर people obviously other living thing yes sometimes for animal yes and non living thing you cannot refer you cannot use who okay whose people other living thing yes and non living things okay that people other living things correct you can use and for non living things you can also use that uh, that is done now the last one which you cannot use remember few people make mistakes people refer people um, you know few people refer the other person or other um, people around them by using which which is not correct people you cannot use which for people okay other living things you can use non living things you can use so students i hope you are pretty clear with relative pronoun here and you will remember this as long as possible okay so now let's move forward and try to understand d exercise complete the sentence using relative pronouns students i'll do one thing i'll uh, send an image an image of this exercise um in my class group and that's how you can complete this one till the time you can make, you can do practice at home if you will feel any problem you can uh, text me or message me in my personal contact okay now the next text is up the ladder you can see here uh, i will also share this one with you very shortly till the time uh, thank you for watching this video and hope you are doing good at home and uh, at last i would say uh, don't forget to, um, to subscribe our channel and like and share okay thank you for watching <laughs>